Hey guys, what's going on? My hair looks bad, I know. Uh, it's been a long day today. It is Friday. It is Friday, my dudes. And uh, I have a really bad headache. And my throat... It's that weird thing that I get sometimes where like my throat hurts so, so bad and then it makes my head hurt. And then, I don't know why, but my whole body hurts. So I went to the gym and did like arms and shoulders. And then like my head stopped hurting but like all my joints started being achy and in pain and now today everything just hurts and I don't know what the deal is so looks like today we are actually taking a rest day So today is December 5th, um, I'm pretty far out, like, cause we started, um, September 1st, so, you know, it's been, like, three months, and we just got to 170, 170.8, um, I've been fluctuating a lot back and forth lately, and, um, yeah, so I'm finally at 170, so that's good. Um, I've been taking my time getting there versus last year where I like was at 170 very quick and which is good because I'm doing that to kind of minimize fat fat gain as much as I can and kind of you know slowly get up there but anyway so that's pretty good we're getting there slowly getting there I've seen increases in strength I've seen increases in um, just muscle mass how it looks and everything there's been fat that comes along with that but other than that everything's been going not too bad it's pretty good look at like I, I'm sorry I've been breaking out because I food here or whatever um core is still somewhat visible not like completely there but it's like I, the other, you can't really see in this lighting but the other day what I was doing is like even if I stick my stomach out uh yeah you can still kind of see the big core and that's how my stomach usually is but everything else It's not too bad. You know, it's not like a huge excess of fat versus last year. There was a lot. I had a lot of excess fat. I can tell. Pretty much, that's our update on all that stuff now. I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true But the world is pretty cold, you might need a sweater too I'ma put a ride on ya, get from California Tryna make it in life, in school they never taught ya Dreams of my own, I've been working from home I can do it on my own, but sometimes it gets cold like walking in the uh my normal path of walking it's the lake good old good old lake placido over there so anyway so this week we're or on this video we're basically talking about progress which i don't know why i haven't made a video sooner about that because that was one of my main points to uh to really get to but anyways i'm not gonna make any more excuses about any of that so basically what's been going on is I've been seeing significant difference with everything going on, strength improvements, seeing uh, body mass improvements, all that stuff. But like the big thing that I've been doing is comparing where I am right now, um, three months out this year versus where I was in December last year. And the problem with last year was I ended up bulking a lot earlier, like because I didn't really know what I was doing. I think it was back in 
It might have been May that I started like kind of putting on weight because I was like, oh, I don't really know what to do, so I'm just gonna eat more and get bigger. But um, yeah, so I remember this time last year I was I was getting close to 180, I think. I'm pretty sure I was getting close to 180. Right now I'm around 170, which is like not bad. Um, it means that I basically gained about five pounds each month, which is like kind of pushing it. But um, yeah, I've been trying to keep like slow things down as much as I could to minimize fat gain and you know, so things will be easier for me when I'm cutting. But you know, all right. So the biggest thing is here. Um, you always hear me talk about on the radio where like why walking is good, why walking is great when you're cutting, and then bulking. It's a different story because the more you walk, the more you have to eat. And with bulking, you're already eating a lot. The problem here, the reason why I'm walking, you can hear me. The the reason why I'm walking still is because I've been slowly kind of getting out of breath, and that's what happens when you bulk. You kind of, I, I don't know, you kind of lose your endurance a little bit that's why i'd end up doing cardio twice a week um my uh my boss at my home gym made fun of me about that the other week when he saw me home he's like oh you're doing cardio now I'm like, oh, i do it twice a week what do you mean but it's because in the summer he never saw me do it because i sold ice cream and i walked all day and i just counted that as it because if i didn't i would have to eat so much more food but anyway so this is why i'm still walking because you know i want to uh Make sure that I keep that endurance up there. I don't want to be out of breath when I'm doing simple things like walking up the stairs or anything. But, um, yeah, so other than that, it's all that. Um, as far as physical differences, what I've been seeing is a lot more size in my arms. And that's specifically because this year compared to last year, um, in the summer, I, I, I took a look at my arms and I was like, all right. Like, there's something missing there. It's a little bit off. And I looked back and I remembered, like, how I didn't really... I, get, I don't know, I don't want to say I didn't put a whole lot of focus into it, but it wasn't really my strong point, so that was my goal, that was my big goal that I was going into with this uh, bulk, that I wanted to add as much mass to my arms as I could, and that's something I'm actually seeing, and it's not like last, last time when I bulked I saw that my arms were getting bigger, but I could see that there was like a high percentage of fat on there, now it's not as much that, now it's more of like they're getting bigger all together like there's more I could see the muscle still in there growing there is a little bit more fat added to it but like that's you know it's creating a full round arm working biceps and triceps together which is nice it's cool so that's fun but other than that that's um it's where I'm at about now I got about about like three more months so I'm pretty much halfway through right now I'm halfway through my bulk um so what does it mean that I'm bulking till February? It means I'm gonna have less time to cut. I'm gonna have two less months. Why? Specifically because I just hate maintenance. So it's just like, eh. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind, I'm gonna kind of um, dig into maintenance instead of cutting until uh, May. I'm gonna shoot for being done cutting in June, and then just yeah maintain for July and for August but like that's the thing like I'm trying to like I, I'm trying to make things easier for myself I'm trying to um just minimize my fat gain throughout this whole process which it seems like that's what I'm doing so that's great and we're getting towards that so that's good I pretty much got that figured out I don't know I'm moving slowly towards that it's working great or it's working as good as I can and you know we won't see that till I'm cutting but a big reason for that is that I'm going to Florida and I don't want to be all, like, puffy marshmallow man when I'm down there. So, right now, it's looking like I'm not going to be like that, but it's just, you know, the abs have slowly disappeared, and, you know, it's not... I don't look fat like I did last year, but I just... I, I'm looking, like, a little... not the same as I did. But anyways, that's my update for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. So, nothing else to say to you guys except for rack your weights, drink your shakes, and stay positive, my friends. I'll see you all in the later life. Yeah. Alright, so just got back from my exit interview, uh, wasn't bad at all, basically what it was, was I walked in, and it was just a little question thing they were asking me, like, alright, so, uh, they pretty much asked me a lot of stuff about last year, what my experience was like last year with the school, 
what I like about the school, what I didn't like about the school, where I'm going, why I'm going there, and just it literally took 20 minutes. But not too bad. Now I got this paper I gotta go around and sign. Gonna be fun. No. You're like Paisley. You're a lot like Paisley. You're like you're like a darker, longer-tailed Paisley.